Hello and welcome to Anthony's Brick Builds and today is going to be week four of building Geonosis. In the first couple of weeks we have added the plates, we have made the border, made the mills plate parts, and then we've added starting some details around Geonosis just to start putting it down and making it the best I can make it. So this week we are going to be definitely raising up a lot of these bricks so I'll be able to support this slope up and adding more bricks to slope it up over here to make a same height for the main droid factory. So that is going to be really cool. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more of these two by six plates in the near future because these are just awesome. So until we can get there, let's try, I'm going to be trying to do as much as I can just to prepare for it and make it the best it can be. So before we go on further on into this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for notifications this button on if you have not already. And let's jump right on in and I'll be starting to work on this build. I'm checking with guys while I'm done that. All right, so after uh, many hours of building, it's taking me probably about five more hours to do all this, finding the parts and putting it together. This is the design I've come up with for the sloping of the Geonosian battlefield. It's going to be having some bricks at the bottom and then some bricks on top of it just to make it kind of slope up a little nicer. And for the middle right here, where I have these two studs, you just bring it apart and you see there is a one by kind of line all the way down. That is because I did run out of, um, I, I actually was off by a stud. I didn't really run out of it, but I have definitely ran out of these. I've stretched these two to breaking point. We'll go over the rest of them in just a second, but every 12 studs, it comes up. So boop, 12 studs, boop, 12 studs, boop, 12 studs, boop, and then all the way to the top here. So that is that we have and I can make some couple phase two troopers right here from that battle pack. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do phase one or phase two. I know phase one is accurate to landing at Point Wayne and Weapons Factory, but I don't have enough for them to do a build this side. If I do have enough phase two troopers, so I'm not entirely sure, but I'm definitely going to try and make the separatists um, as accurate as I can. And we'll be going from the clones when we get and we cross that bridge. And maybe, who knows, Lego will come out with a regular P2 Clone Wars battle pack the next year. So probably not, but it's good to hope. So this is going to be the bridge right here where it's going to be a very large bridge. It's going to be a 24 stud bridge. So it does support an AAT right there with a space on each side for a line of battle droids or super battle droids or something. So that is why I wanted this bridge. It is accurate to weapons factory. So I'm very happy about that. And you can kind of see under there, kind of like the greebling details I have. I can't really get in there because my phone's a little too big. But we do have a little opening where Ahsoka and Barris go in. It will be kind of more played off. And it's just a rudimentary design. So keep in mind, a lot of this is rudimentary. It's probably going to get changed in the next couple of weeks. This is where the main battlefield or the main droid factory battlefield area will be. There will be a main kind of assembly line and there will be a bunch of crisscrossing other kind of like trails and that kind of other stuff in here for the Geonosians. And uh, probably back here will be the, the reactor. So I'm excited to build that. The main kind of battery box will definitely go here and I will have a little switch to make it on off so that is going to be fun putting that in but here's a closer look of what the main support structure for this area is like and i will be putting this all in dark bluish gray plate so that is where the main kind of building will start it'll kind of come here slope around and slope around there will be a main arch here another main arch here for the other side for people to see and then one big arch right here so you people can really see in and what the inner workings of this thing is going to be. I'm estimating it's going to be just around the Lego sign area. So it's going to be pretty tall, probably two and a half feet from, from where it starts right here at the main base. So that's pretty much the end of week four of building Genos. It's pretty crazy what we had and what we did go, go and build this week. I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think of Genos is down in the comment section below. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to notifications button on if you have not already. And stay tuned for many updates in the near future. I see you guys. Have, have a great rest of your day. May the force be with you.